Well, that's right. It was right here in this QFC parking lot. The fire department estimates they're out about $10,000 in gear, and they don't know how they're going to pay to replace it. But their biggest concern is not having those tools, which could mean the difference between life or death in an emergency. So they took our BLS box and our airway bags. These firefighters are still sorting out what was stolen. It's a bag of chains and straps. Lieutenant Dylan Tapia of Pierce County Fire District 13 says this rig was ransacked while parked outside a grocery store. A citizen came in and informed us that someone was poking through our compartments. The firefighters ran out of the store just in time to see the thief speed off. Do you think they knew what they were going for on the fire rig? I think they had an idea of what they wanted. We've reported that fire agencies around Seattle have been dealing with similar targeted thefts, often costing tens of thousands of dollars to replace equipment. It's a burden even for large departments, but it's devastating for District 13, which has mostly volunteers and serves the small communities of Dash Point and Browns Point. We absolutely have to keep our guard up. The fire department lost saws, axes, and other tools, which firefighter Alondra Sword says won't be easy to replace. Some of it has a wait list that could put us months and thousands of dollars behind. For now, the department is pulling what they can from other fire trucks. They ruined our ability to do a lot of stuff that we're here to do. And they're going to have to keep their guard up as much as they can. We don't have that luxury of just leaving somebody behind on an apparatus to wait and make sure nobody comes by and just pick and pull at our engine. For now, they've had to pull gear from another fire engine to supplement that. We're also checking with Tacoma police because this happened in Tacoma. They're investigating it. We're asking them if they have any sort of surveillance pictures or video of the suspects. All the firefighter said was it was a white truck with a U-Haul trailer on it that sped out of this area. Crime Stoppers is offering a, a reward for anybody who gives them information leading to an arrest. Reporting live in Tacoma, Jeremy Harris, Como News. With their possessions packed up and ready to be rolled away, people like Robert Rouse are trying to minimize their impact outside the Ballard Library because of how frequently they camp there. Probably, you know, four or five days out of the week. Benjamin Stiglitz used to sleep outside before getting a tiny house and says many of his friends living across from Ballard Commons Park got swept from other encampments by the city. There used to be tents lined up super far all the way down to like QFC, but you know, since, you know, Ballard's streeping the streets, you know, it's like, what can you do? In late 2021, Ballard Commons Park was overrun with tents. Out of control fires were frequent, and neighbors say assaults and other violence at the camp left them on edge. You feel sorry for people if you can, and uh, on the other hand, they're dangerous sometimes. The current situation of makeshift campers is nothing like the problems of the past, though open drug use is a concern. Well, there's blues and fentanyl and you know, everybody somehow got a, like, attached to them. Still, neighbors don't want to see Ballard Commons become a sprawling encampment again. I don't think it's safe. It's a drug problem as well. A nearby church is providing breakfast as people pack up for the day, and outreach workers from the city are trying to make connections. I mean, they do come around and tell us what's available. 